What's good everybody? It's your boy Marcus here and I'm back with another video for you guys. I'm a part-time reseller with the goal of going full-time by the end of the year. So if that seems like something that you're into, you want to follow me on my journey, please make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and leave a like. Hit the bell notification so you guys will know when I drop another video. Today I'm back at the Goodwill Benz, baby. This is like quickly becoming my favorite place to source at because it's just ridiculous how much stuff you can get for the cheapest prices. So I'm going to go in here, man, and I'm going to see how much merch I can get to resell on eBay. And I'll show you guys what I find when I get inside. Everybody, this is what I got. Sorry about the noise. We're right here by the highway. But I got a whole cart full of stuff and a golf a golf bag. I'm going to do the golf bag. This thing right here is going for about $80. I'll show you guys the rest of this stuff when I get it unloaded. What's going on, everybody? It's Marcus, and I'm back from the Goodwill Benz, and I got an incredible haul today. It's not a lot of grills or nothing super hype or anything great like that, but I did get a ton of items. It's going to make me a lot of freaking cash, guys. So uh, I'm going to break down everything, the cost of goods, the total amount spent, and all that good stuff for you. So I got a total of 42 items, guys. 42 items. I spent 65 bucks, 65.58 is uh what I got 42 let me make sure <clears throat> so a total of 65 items divided by 42 equals a dollar 56 per item for my cost of goods for this haul right so I spent a total of 65.58 for a potential gross profits of 872 guys 872 gross profits now that's before ebay fees that's before the uh 65 dollars that i spent that's before offers that's before you know everything so let me show you guys what i got so this right here is the total haul that i got from the goodwill bins a lot of decent stuff. Uh, let me go over the highlights with you. The highlights probably going to be this Callaway bag right here. Callaway golf bag in pretty good condition. All I might have to do is just touch it up a tad bit, you know, make sure there's no dirt or anything on it. A hundred dollars, guys, for that golf bag is what I'm asking. Is what I could probably get. Is what I can get, but what I'll probably do is take an offer of eighty to ninety bucks. So. Let me just go over everything with you guys. This, uh, the Hunger Games trilogy. I'm asking ten bucks for that. The Godfather, the Coppola restoration. This is uh, all three films, and uh, you know some extras. Um, I'm gonna ask uh, probably. Let me see what I got written down for that. 15 bucks for the Godfather brand new uh this um United We Stand Stan Freeberg the United States of America volume 1 and 2 it's a comedy uh DVD or CD or something I'm gonna ask 25 dollars for that brand new uh ER I got four of them I'm missing I got the 9th 10th I'm missing the 11th the 12th and the 13th seasons I'm going to ask $12 for each of those, except for this I'm asking $15 for, or I either bundle them up for $50. Uh, this Daewoo remote right here, I'm asking, what, nine, nine bucks for that. I'm asking uh, $3 for the cord, maybe. I might just bundle it up with a VCR. Uh, this sounds a summer, five seconds, five seconds of summer. Uh, man. I don't know why, but sold comps on this are going from, and it's all over the place, honestly, from 15 to 30 bucks. Uh, I think I'm asking, I'm asking $40, but I'll probably settle on that one. These Maxell tapes, I'm going to bundle them up with this stuff and some other tapes that I already have to uh, sell with a VCR. Or probably bundle up a bunch of those tapes. And uh, eventually I'll ask, you know, a certain fee for that. So I'm not even going to, you know, unless I sell these, I'll sell them for like $5 or something. All that together. 
this I'm not selling. It's a PlayStation 1 game, the NFL Game Day 2000. I'm bundling that with a PlayStation 1 that I have. I'm just waiting on some controllers. This Rainforest music for babies, I'm asking like eight bucks. This Paul Newman triple feature Western. Uh, sold comps are going anywhere from, uh, let's see. Sold comps are going for 15 bucks on that. Star Wars Phantom Menace 1. Sold comps are going for uh, $5 on that, that dude right there. This Quicken Basics 2005. Sold comps are going for 15 on that one. This Web Root Secure Anywhere. Uh, I guess it's some type of internet security from back in the day. 15 bucks on that joint. I work. I don't even know what that is, but uh, I'm asking 10 bucks for it. Uh, these Maurice jeans. I'm asking 15 for that. Twelve dollars a piece on the Levi's. Uh, this 50 pack of floppy disk for uh your computer. Sold comps are going for 25, so I'm asking 25 for it. I'm on this uh vintage St. Louis Blues hat. I'm asking uh I'm asking 20, but I'll settle on a best offer of anything for real. John Deere had him ask for 10. Toronto Maple Leafs. This hat is in pretty good condition. Uh I'm asking 20 for it. This roughneck rubber made container right there. I just bought it because I needed something to put all this stuff in. But those are actually going for like 40 bucks used for this roughneck container, but I'm keeping it because the bottom's got a slice in it, so I can't really sell it, but I'll use it to store my inventory in. This pink shirt, it's a pink V-neck shirt. I'm asking eight bucks for it. These pink Nike Air Max. Uh, not in bad condition for real. I'll just have to clean up the, the soles. Uh, I'm probably asking $30 for those. These New Balance Men, size 12 wide. They're not the ones that are made in the US. They're made in uh, Vietnam, I think, but uh, I'll clean them up and, you know, get the suede back jumping. I'll probably ask $30 for those. These Asics right here, they're in pretty good condition and pretty clean. I don't have to put in a lot of work on them. So uh, the soles have a lot of wear left on them, you know, for whoever wants to go jogging in these joints. Uh, Asics kind of move well for me, kind of not. It just depends on how I price them. So I'll price those from 30 to 40 and see how they go. And I'll drop the price accordingly. Now these, I don't even know anything about these. Chacos, Chacos with Vibram soles. Anything with Vibram in it tends to sell well. I heard this from, uh, I think it was Drew from Profit Monsters told me that. So I got these priced accordingly to sold comps at, uh, let's see what I'm selling these joints for. 40 bucks is what the sold comps are going around, I think. So I'll price those from 30 to 40. That kettle, if I sell it, which I don't think I'm going to, I'm going to sell it for $5. But really what I got it for was the snapback hat restoration using the steam to make the hat bounce back. So uh, that's exclusively why I bought that. This Brink safe has got the key to it and it works. Uh, $30. $30 for this, man. 30 bucks for a home brink safe. $1.92 I paid for that thing, man. It's crazy. These Belleville steel toed work boots are in great condition. Uh, I'm asking 50 bucks for them. So comps are from anywhere from 40 to 70. Now these, not so much great condition, but they're steel toed um, red wing Irish setter work boots. I'll ask anywhere between 30 to 40 maybe even 50 i'll push my luck on it these wolverine boots still toe pretty good condition honestly they're in better condition than these i'll probably ask 50 for those and these right here are more red wing uh irish setter boots still toe also not as bad condition as those are i'll probably ask 50 for those as well settle on the best offer these feet lines are actually pretty clean uh, the insides are the dirtiest part of them, and they look damn near new, so I'll put uh, $40 on those and turn on best offer as well. 
And then those IKEA bags, I got, uh, I paid eight dollars brand new for my my uh, other IKEA bags, and I got those for dollar ninety two a piece. So there you have it, guys. Another successful haul from my favorite place in the world to go thrifting at is the Goodwill Outlets. So I think that haul is successful in my opinion. I think I'll make a decent amount of profit off it. Even at worst case scenario, I plan to take $400 away from that haul. 65 bucks, that's not a bad investment to make 400 off of fees and everything and cost the goods back, you know. So I'll take that any day for, what, two hours worth of work? Not bad at all. Well, I'll say three just on the time that I have to clean everything and uh, get everything listed. So three, maybe four max hours worth of work. That's $50 an hour. I'll take that. Pretty good money to me. Uh, I'm going back tomorrow and I'll try to see if I can top this one on the next one. But but yeah, man, I really appreciate you guys tuning in to check out my haul, seeing what I got. I would have filmed in there, man, but it gets crazy in there. This is St. Louis, and it's a pretty rough uh, neighborhood to be in. And on top of that, they play music way too loud in there. So maybe once I get a GoPro, I'll strap that deal to my chest and just do a voiceover for you guys so you'll at least be able to see some of the band footage. But uh, that's for later when I'm actually getting paid off this stuff. But until then, you guys will just have to deal with what I got, man. It's the best I can do, and I apologize. But I really do appreciate your support, guys. Please leave this video a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below what you think the best item I got was and what I could do to make these videos better. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed. I uh, know a lot of you guys that watch these videos are not subscribed. Please show some love, man. It's a free way to support the channel, and it helps me grow and get out in front of more people. I need all the support I can get, guys. So, yeah, uh, that's pretty much all I got for this one, guys. Until the next one, let's make this cash, guys. Peace.